As the nation's average price for a gallon of gas approaches $4 a gallon, the White House is stupidly chasing windmills and other unreliable energy sources. With today's Americans for Limited Government Minute, I'm Katherine Mortensen. When asked about relief from high gas prices, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said this. Look, our view is that the rise in gas prices over the long term makes an even stronger case for doubling down our investment and our focus on clean energy options so that we are not relying on uh, the fluctuations and OPEC and their willingness to put more supply and meet the demand in the market. That's our view. Uh, we feel that, uh, but we also feel that there are a number of actors here, including price gouging, that we have concerns and we've seen out there. We feel we've seen, we've asked the FTC to look into the need for OPEC to release more that are the larger issues here. And that's why we've been focused on those options. The White House should resume new federal leasing right now as ordered by a federal court. And it should stop talking about measures that would single out natural gas and oil industry for higher taxes that would discourage new investment and production. And it should support safe and responsible infrastructure upgrades and new construction.